today, we're pleased to have Dr. Jun Gao, who will give us his first talk at IDS okay, on number of clicks, right? Yeah. You know, critical graph, k critical graph. Yeah. Okay, please. Oh, okay. Talk, talk, talk. Uh, maybe we have an issue with that. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, okay, thank you. Mm, my topic is uh, counting number of K minus one clicks in K critical graph. This is a joint book with my PhD advisor Gemma. Yeah. First, I will introduce some background of this problem. <laughs> oh, thank you. First, I will introduce some background of this problem, then talk about some of my our proof and the end of some open problems. So we say a graph is k-critical if it, so the commutative number is k. But when we delete any edge of this graph, the commutative number will become k minus 1. And uh, uh, we will have some new definition. We net the TLG denotes the number of the copies of the click KL in the graph G. And uh, Galilei proposed a problem like this. Let G be a k-critical graph on n vertexes. He asked, is it true that uh, any of these graphs has at most k, n k minus 1 clicks? And we know this is trivial for k equal to 3 and uh, n equal to k. Because when we consider the three critical graphs, we know all three critical graphs is an uh, old cycle. And uh, the number of the uh, k minus 1 click is the number of the h is equal to the number of uh, vertexes is n. And for the complete graph, we know uh, the complete graph of size k is k critical and uh, contains k choose k minus 1, k minus 1 click is also equal to n. Yeah, so, and uh, for the k, at least the four, the tip is confined, confined to this for four critical graph. And uh, he also proved that uh, uh, when we cons consider other sizes of the clicks in the graph G, the number is not the linear of n. So the k minus one is very special. Yeah, they showed this now. This number is very large for uh, k minus two, k minus three clicks. And uh, for general k, this conjecture was reserved by Eibolt and Joe in 1992. They proved that this number is is at most n minus two when k is larger than n. So they proved that the equality holds if and only if n equal to k. And the uh, Albert and so also show that for any four critical graph G, if the graph G is uh, not a uh, odd wire, the number of triangles is no more than n minus two. And the odd wire is a graph like uh, like this one. Uh, all the cycle and the vertexes connect to all other vertexes. This is a oh, this is a even cycle. Odd <laughs> <laughs> wire. So this graph is four critical and the contents a minus one triangle. So, and the for the general k, they have this conjecture. They, they think the if the n is 
bigger than k, then the number is at most uh, n minus k plus 3. And uh, the extremal graph is uh, also similar to this graph. Yeah, maybe we can see the. Uh, th this is uh, a new definition about the graph. Uh, we, it consists of uh, all the cycle and uh, clicks, D and L, and uh, connects all between this. So this is uh, when we choose uh, L equal to N minus K plus 3 and d equal to k minus 3. This graph is a k-critical graph and with uh, n vertices. So this graph is from the at the vertexes connect to all vertexes. We can add a new point to add all vertex and to construct this graph. And we know the number of the k minus 1 click in this graph is equal to the nonce of the odd cycle. So the number is equal to n minus k plus 3. So this is uh, another very simple graph except the com complete graph. So the conjecture this graph has a maximal number of the k minus 1 click. Yeah, and uh, for this conjecture, um, in 1995, Su proved this conjecture is holds for k is at most seven. And uh, Kennedy and Slavili proved this conjecture, approved uh, this result. This number is no more than n minus three k over five plus two. And uh, uh, we can see if we consider k is at most 7, this, num this bound is equal to the best bound. So they also proved uh, uh, the conjecture for k at most 7. And they actually both, re uh, both rely on this lemma. They proved that if this graph contains uh, H is contained in exactly d copies of k k minus d copies of k k minus one, then the number of k minus one clicks in G is uh, no more than n minus k minus two minus d. Yeah, this number. So if we can find uh, H is contained at most one or zero copies we can prove the conjecture. When this the d is equal to 1, the number is uh, what we wanted. And uh, Su actually proved the, a similar number. Actually, it's the d equal to 0 and 1. So they, uh, actually, their proof is very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, recently we completely solved this conjecture. Yeah, so uh, before our proof, we will uh, uh, introduce some uh, useful definition. The first is the incidence vector. We let uh, uh, G be an n vertex graph with uh, the vertex set uh, V1, V2, Vn, and uh, the incidence vector is a zero one vector when the Vr belongs to S, the Ur is one. Otherwise, the Ur is zero. I will give an example for the incidence vector. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Then we will deliver this vertex 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if S is so this triangle, Then the U.S. is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, this one. Then this triangle is, the best is 3, 4. This one is 1, 0, 1. And uh, I got and uh, Joe proved that uh, if we consider all the incidence vector of the clicks, we know this vector are linear independent of the F2 field. So the number i is no more than the dimension n. So this is why they proved this, uh, how they proved this conjecture. Yeah. They show sure this ve vector is in the independent. If we can see this graph, if we consider this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, they are when They are linear independent. Mm. Yeah, so the number of the vector is no more than the dimension n. So your theorem is, I mean, you also give us some extremal example by by joining all the cycle and some click. So is it the unique extremal example? Yeah, and uh, we can't prove this is the unique extremal graph. I write it in the conclusion. That's yeah, a open problem. Like you conjecture this, or you do not have any idea of this? Mm, they conjecture this is it, only extreme graphs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, our idea is to construct some new vector, and uh, we will prove them together also in the independent. So the number will be smaller. Yeah, now we can see our proof. Yeah, first, we should find some mm -hmm. special structure like this. So uh, we want to find the edge, which is uh, maybe, oh, maybe I need to give the new definition. You, you can move the window like blackboard, right? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> So we define T T minus one U T be the number of the clicks contain the vertex U and uh, maybe also we will define contains some H E. Yeah, so we want to find the H U V such that the number of click contains U V is no more than this number. And uh, we also want to find another click is uh, disjoint from the U V. Um, so first we let the u be the vertex minimizing this number. Uh, so we will have a simple double counting to give an upper bound of this number. 
because we know the sum of the t a minus one u t. This is equal to k minus one times the any click will provide k minus one this number. So the sum of all vertexes is equal to the k minus one times the oh, click number. Okay. So this number we know they have proved this no more than k minus one times n minus one. So the minimal is must uh, no more than this number. Yeah, this is easy. So t u And uh, in step two, we want to find two vertexes which is uh, not adjacent in G and uh, it's a neighbor of the U. So this is also very easy because if, uh, if these two vertexes not exist means the NU is a click. So U is contained in exactly one click. So at most one k minus one click, and we have proved uh, we have a result. If uh, oh. yeah, if uh, the all exist H contain the exactly one containing exactly one k uh, one click, so we are done. So we can assume every edge is contained in many click. This also means any vertex is contained in any click. Yeah, if a uh, if, uh, vertex is contained in only one click, we can choose any edge. This edge is contained in any one click. So, so uh, the step two is uh, very easy we can find the two vertex, it's not adjacent. Then we just uh, use the uv is the h and uh, ux is the h. Because u is the uh, minimal and uh, uv contains in some click, so we must can find another click only contain x, not contain u. Because u is minimal. If every click contain x, also contain u, then x will, and you have another one. So the click contain x will be more than the click contain. And the click contain u will be more than. Yeah, this is okay. So, so we find uh, the, click and uh, the age we wanted. The click A is uh, can't contain V, also don't contain U. And now we can construct the, oh, no, oh, we need another step. Yeah. So we will use the property K critical. We, because G is K critical, so when we consider G minus UV, this graph is K minus one colorable. And uh, we know the UV must have the same color. Otherwise, we can add this edge back and uh, get a K minus mm -hmm. one color. So they must have the same color. We say this color is K minus one. And uh, the claim two means there must exist another color occurs in every click. Yeah, this is uh, the claim two. And we will say this color is K minus two. This is because uh, the click in G can be divided into two cases. One is contains a UV, another is not content. 
if the click lot contains a GUV, uh, it will also be a click in the G minus UV. So it will contain every color exactly once. And if this click contains UV, then he will it will miss at most exactly miss one one color. Yeah, yeah. If the we know this, whatever this color P minus one, P minus one. If click contains this. So here is K minus three vertexes. They have a different color and a different K minus one. So this color all belong to one, two, three K minus. So for any click, we will miss at most one color, but exactly one color. Mm -hmm. This key minus one click have two vertexes, UV, with the same color, and the other vertexes uh, have different color with uh, this one. So we will miss one color. We now consider graph G minus U V. So any problem here? Uh, is it obvious that there's at most K clicks that contain U V? I mean the most of choice. So this is click contains U V. But most k minus two such clicks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have two types of the color. One is contain UV. Mm -hmm. One is don't contain the UV. So uh, for the for the click not contain UV, we know it will use every color exactly once. And uh, for the click k minus one click contain U and we we know U we have the color k minus one. And other vertexes, the, this is a k minus one click, so we have uh, k minus uh -huh. three vertexes, and they are just in the two. This. So we will miss one color. And we have the condition. The UV is containing at most k minus three clicks. So each one miss at miss one. So there remain at least one color occurs in every click. Yeah, so we can find a click. Uh, we can find a color occurs in every click. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is claim two. Then we can construct our. We will define define this set V R. Here. Yeah. This is uh, A we find, and uh, this is U we. We can assume the AI with the color I, and uh, this is the color of the graph. And uh, uh, we also need the clicks incident vector, and uh, for the uh, can you remind what A is? A is uh, oh. 
There's a button on the front, right? Yeah, A is a <laughs> click in the... A is a, is a key minus one click. Ah, avoiding... In the claim one. So it's, uh, it's not adjacent mm -hmm. to the U and V, different to the U and V. And we assume this vertex with color Q minus 1, and color Q minus 2, color V1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we will define the incidence vector. Here, xi denotes the incidence vector of the click and uh, y j denotes the incidence vector of the single vertex sets a1, a2, and ak minus 2. So if we can prove this vector is linear independent, then we are done because we have this number is no more than n and uh, this is what we wanted to prove. Mm -hmm. I is no more than n plus n minus k plus three. Yeah, this is what we want to prove next. Yeah. Mm. So we can suppose for contradiction that they are not linear independent. Means we can find some vector. Assume is zero. And uh, uh, for convenience, we can assume the QI equal to I and the PJ equal to J. And uh, uh, also, we can assume S is at least one and M is at least one. This is because uh, S at least one is trivial because this vertex is single, so they are linear independent. M is because uh, the result of I bot and the true, they have showed they are not they are linear independent, so assume can't be zero. So we can assume these two numbers at least one. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was y? Y is a single. So y is a vector for. Y is the vector of the single a one, a one, a two. I see. So you don't use k my a k minus two or a k minus three. Yeah, I will. You only use the. A two. Uh huh. So we not use. A k minus two and a k minus one. Okay. This two is special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, now we will consider this vector, this incidence vector's original click, and uh, this vector, this single vertex. So we let H be the family of this uh, click, and uh, also we can define the number of the click contains to the W and the E in this family. So we will consider a new family of this click. And uh, the observation says this uh, the sum is zero is equal to when the vertex is belong to A1, A2, AM. The number of the click is contains this vertex is odd. And if the vertex is not belong to this set, the number of the click contains this vertex is, is even. Mm -hmm. Because this is uh, the incidence vector. So this is uh, if and only if condition. Mm -hmm. So uh, because a k minus one and a k minus two is not in this set, so we, we know they are even. Uh, 
and uh, faster we are use uh, the vertex a k minus two because we know every click every click contains exactly one vertex in the v k in with the color k minus two this is k two okay, so we know uh, the this pair is uh, equal to the number of the click in H. And uh, in another way, we know this is equal to, uh, this is a, a double counting. In, on the one hand, we consider the number of the click, and on the other hand, we consider every vertex and the click contains these vertexes. And we also know for any W belongs to VK minus 2. Here, mm -hmm. this number is even, so the sum is even. Sorry, what was PJ I forgot? What was PJ? Oh, PJ, PJ is, is the, the click. In the list. Yeah. All the click of the corresponding to XJ, right? Respond to the to the XJ. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a uh, uh, simple double counting. So we know the the size of the edge is even. And uh, now we will see the claim three. So we want to prove uh, the number of the click contains edge A1 and the AK minus one is odd, and uh, the number of the click contains the WAK minus one is given for W with color one not equal to A1. Mm. Here we will consider the AK this age and this age. So we want to prove the number of the click contain this edge is odd and the contain other edge is even. So uh, we will consider a new coloring here. Consider a coloring for any W belong to the V1, we consider the graph G minus NK minus NW for the color phi W. And we know the AK minus 1 and the W also must have the same color. We also call the k minus one. And uh, uh, same as uh, above, we know the click also can be divided into two types: contain this edge and the not contain this edge. Not contain this edge will have every color exactly once, and the contain this edge will have the color. K minus one twice. Mm -hmm. okay, if this click contains W and A K minus one, this color will occur twice, and uh, otherwise this color will occur exactly once. So we also double counting the above things. So here is not the number of the edge, it's uh, the number of the edge plus the number of the click contain this edge. And here is the number of the click contains any vertex with the color under the new coloring with the color K minus one. So this is uh, sim similar. We also consider the 
this pair W and uh, some other vertex. We're double counting this number. And uh, we know the click content this age will give two this pair, and the others will give one. So the left. Age and we consider uh, this number. This vertex is the we know we can't belong to a we know we can't belong to this set because this set uh, is adjacent to this set of vertexes is adjacent to a1 and a k minus one. So they can't have the same color with a k minus one. So this this is means when W is uh, A one, we only have T A one is odd and other is even. This is what we wanted. When we consider the W is A one, we will uh, show that uh, for any V not equal to A one. It can't in this set, and we know if it is not in this set, it must uh, have the T V is even. So I think he. Here is very important, so maybe I can slow, slowly. Yeah, I think this equation is no problem. And uh, now we will consider here when we when w equal to one and uh, phi we if we if we if phi w equal to one one we know. We know we equal to a one a k minus one or we not belong to a minus yeah, this is true. Mm. Not these two vertices. Yeah, because we have a click and we consider the click delays this edge. This two vertexes in this color K minus one. So other vertexes can't have the color K minus one. This is what I want to say. Other vertexes can't have the color K minus one. So the V can't be near other color other vertex. And we know if V is not in the in the set A the number is even. This is the, the observation. We know the number is odd if and only if 
w belong to a1, a2, am. m is no more than k minus 3. So, so this, this is equation tells us when w is equal to a1, this, this, this part is odd and uh, this is even, so this is odd. And when w not equal to a1, when w not equal to a1, now we have two cases, case one, w, a k minus one. It's not an H, maybe. <coughs> maybe it's not a, uh, it is not an H. Then now this number is zero. Minus one H is zero. So zero is also even. And uh, in another case, W A K minus one belong to the graph G. So similarly, we also have this <coughs> equation, and uh, we also have we have h k minus one k minus. So any vertexes in the click A also can have the color k minus one. So. Here is all even. So this number is even. So this finish the proof of the claim three. Then then we will done. We will consider the click contains the vertexes A K minus one. So the number of the click contains a k minus one can be divided into the number of the click contains h. Mm. Yeah. Uh, in this graph, we know v one is an uh, independent set. Yeah, they have uh, the same color, and uh, we know the click contains a k minus one can be divided into the click. Contain a k smart a one, a k minus one, and other vertexes. Yeah, so we have this, so this one. But we know one of them is odd and the other is even. So this number is the uh, odd number. But uh, we have we have the condition this number is even. This is a contradiction. So. Mm. We are done. Here tell us this number must uh, even, but uh, we find uh, here tell us it is odd. Yeah, this completes the whole proof. Okay. Yeah. So the claim three is the most important. I'm confused about the claim three. So when when the case is W is equal not equal to A one, so this V in, in just P uh, K cannot cannot w be A not equal to A one. A one and I mean yeah. Also not you means that V cannot be a member of A except A K minus one, right? When W is not equal to A one. Yeah, we can't be we can't be any vertexes in here. Uh, oh here. Yeah. This is vertex A K minus one. This is A this is stop W. This is color delete this H color K minus one. K minus one. Yes. So any vertex here is uh, can't have the color k minus one. Yes. So we can't belong to 
This color came out as well. The A is the consistent of Yeah, A1 also can have the color of the came out as well because it is adjacent to the AK minus one. Yeah. Also, that, that V is different from the V that we chose in the beginning, right? The, we chose in the beginning the as U V, right? Yeah. We just reuse the same variable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because of the U1s. All right. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, let's finish the proof. But uh, uh, we don't know the extremal graph. And we can't prove anymore. Uh, what you yeah. believe? Yeah, we believe this is the only extreme graph. But we can't prove anymore. Yeah. And uh, another conjecture is uh, uh, proposed by Su. Um, that they propose this conjecture to resolve this problem, but uh, I think it's also uh, independently interest. So they conject that uh, for any key critical graph, there exists the uh, H is contained in at most one, K minus one click. And this conjecture is also very <coughs> difficult. Yeah, they also true this conjecture is hold for k at most 7. So this is why they can show the original problem. Yeah. OK, thank you. Any, Any questions? questions? part in your proof is that uh, you add some uh, add, add more uh, vector space uh, add more vectors yeah. and the probably uh, that they are linearly indebe independent yeah. I want to ask that uh, how, how did you find such uh, <laughs> more, more vectors mm. <laughs> try many times that's very important <laughs> There is a question on chat. Oh, okay. uh, can you maybe give some intuitions and motivations on why the number of copies of clip is important? The number of the oh, so the question is why why, why is this we problem are interesting? This problem. Should <laughs> <laughs> mm. people in extreme graph theory do? <laughs> 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 Exactly. I I just really interested in this problem. I don't know <laughs> whether it can have more application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are there any conjectures for like a hypergraph version of that? Hypergraph? No, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I don't know more about uh, the hypergraph. Let's thank the speaker again. <laughs>